Are you ready to learn the most fundamental drill in all of rowing? It's called the pick drill, and I'm here to teach it to you. I'm Cassie Neiman. I'm a You Can Row To Master Rowing Instructor, and here we go. So the pick drill is the most basic of all the drills. It is pretty much the foundation of everything. We're really going to pick apart the stroke. We're gonna do arms only. We're gonna add in the body and do arms and body. We're gonna come halfway up the slide and do a half slide stroke. And then we're gonna to go to a full slide stroke. So we're really breaking apart the stroke into a really simple process. So one, if you're doing this drill at the beginning of every workout, it kind of re-emphasizes those body positions we wanna get in. And two, if you're just learning to row, this really kind of just separates it out. So you only have to focus on that one part and then you kind of add in as you go. So let's go ahead and get into it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that handle and we're gonna start at the finish position. So the finish position, we're laying back at about 11 o'clock. We've got a little teeny engagement in the abs, but not a whole lot. We're sitting up nice and tall, so our chest is up and our shoulders are down. Our hands are pulled in, so the, that handle is right at the sternum. And our wrists are flat, fingers are loose. And all we're gonna do is just release the arms. So we're doing arms only to begin with. See how my body is laid back slightly? That allows me to bring that handle in and get it back out without getting stuck on my body. What you'll notice here is that your arms don't do a lot of work, okay? Only 10% of the stroke. So your arms don't account for all the work that gets done in the stroke. Keep that in mind, right? So once we do however many strokes we wanna do at this arms only, maybe 10 or so, we're gonna add the body. Right? And all we're gonna do is release the arms and swing the body over. So we're doing two things now. We have arms, body, body, arms. So swinging the body back, pull in the arms. Arms, body, body, arms. What you'll notice here is that the flywheel starts to make a little bit more noise because you're doing more work, right? Because we've added in the hips. Our hip swing accounts for 30% of the stroke. So now we have 10% arms, 30% hips. That body swing is super important, which is why I love this drill, because it really reinforces this hinge out of the finish. You must get it before the knees bend, okay? So speaking of knees, we're gonna bend the legs and come halfway up the slide to a half slide stroke. So we go arms, body, legs. Now, when we go to this half slide position, our feet stay completely flat. No matter who you are, what your mobility is like, your feet will stay flat at a half slide. Our full compression gets our shins to a very vertical 90 degree angle. So the half slide is more like a 45 degree angle right here. And that's it. So it's a short stroke. What we wanna emphasize here is that by the time we're at that half slide, our body's in the right position and we can push through the whole foot, okay? The last part of this is we add in full slide. So we come all the way up to full compression. On this one, we're gonna come all the way up and back. So now we have the three parts. We have arms, body, legs. Legs, body, arms. And that's really it, right? Now, arms, like I said, 10%. Body, that hip swing, 30. What fills it out? Those legs, 60% legs. So we'll finish it up with just one more stroke here, full stroke, and then we rest. So that's your pick drill. Now, there are lots of ways to do the pick drill. We pretty much always start with arms only, arms and body but you could do a quarter slide, then half, then three, three quarter, then full. You could do a quarter, then th full. You could do three quarter and full. Really, you can break it up in any way you want to. I prefer arms only, arms and body, half slide, full slide, okay? So try it out, see what happens to your stroke. <laughs>